James Charles this, James Charles that, Tati this, Tati that, sis, 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 T, 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 cancel, 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 cancel. All right, yes, this is yet another video on James Charles. And no, I'm not going to be going into all the things that have happened because believe me, every man and his dog has actually done a video on this topic. All the facts are out there. What I'm going to do in this video today, ladies and gentlemen, is talk about something that's a bit of a worrying trend online nowadays, and that is cancel culture and uh, why are people so heavily invested in cancelling people. And as always, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are new to the channel and you stumbled across my video for some bloody reason, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I might make a video for you one day. Who knows? <laughs> Now, if you are watching this video, you definitely do know about the James Charles situation by now. It is the biggest drama, scandal, tea, whatever you want to call it since that whole thing with Logan Paul last year that we don't speak of anymore. But this has just taken so many twists and turns. This story has so many layers to it. It is absolutely crazy. So just a quick summary of everything that's happened. You had the Tati video, obviously. That's what started this whole thing. Everybody's come out and said, James, sorry, man, you are cancelled. Unsub. Uh, all his supposed celebrity friends have unfollowed him on Instagram and Twitter. There has just been a boatload of memes online that I have partaken in and enjoyed myself, quite frankly. And then you've got the subtrack counter, you've got all this stuff. And it seems that every single day that goes on, there are more facts and there's more information that comes out. Yesterday we had Jeffree Star come out and condemn James Charles, call him a danger to society, wow. Then we had the waiter who was spoken about in the Tati video, he came out and it didn't come out, but we're gonna get to that very shortly. Now personally, I don't really like James Charles, uh, I've always understood what he meant <laughs> to the YouTube community. He was the boy that wore makeup, he's inspirational, he's all that stuff, yeah, cool. Okay, great. I don't have to enjoy his content to understand his value in the community. And at the same time, when he was hashtag cancelled, whilst I did get a little bit of enjoyment out of the reaction and the fallout from it, I wasn't one of those people that said, mm, yeah, good, 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 disgraceful person, get rid of him. Whilst what he did was pretty messed up, and I can't condone that at all, ever, I mean, it's pretty messed up what he actually did do, or what was accused of being done. But at the same time, I'm not considering him the devil incarnate, and I'm not treating him like he just torched all of Westeros. So he's been accused of doing bad stuff. It's been proven to some extent that he's done the bad stuff. He's paid the price for it. Okay, cool. Can we move on? Mm, apparently not. I wanted to sit back and just see what happens. I wanted all of the information to come out. I wanted all the news to unfold. So then I could sit back and make a informed decision on my own based on all the facts that are presented in front of me. Now, when this story first dropped, everybody in the commentary community lost their minds. They saw blood in the water and they went for it. This was one of the biggest stories to ever happen ever. So naturally, every single commentary channel wanted to get in, wanted to make a video, and pretty much created this whole movement in which saw him lose. At the time of recording, th nearly, nearly three million subs. Like I've got it on in the background, he is close to losing 3 million subs in like three or four days. Like that's crazy. And another very interesting side note is the fact that Sister Apparel, uh, James Charles clothing company that is like part owned by Jeffree Star, got completely shut down overnight. Um, a lot of people went onto the website to see, I don't know, to buy like a sister sippy cup or whatever you do with your time online. And they saw that the site was actually uh, experiencing but they saw that the site was actually experiencing some maintenance. So they thought, oh, okay, some shit's happening. I'll come back later. Turns out there was no later because the site is completely shut down and all the sister apparel merchandise apparently is no more. So that, it, that speaks to the power of what is happening right now. The fact that not only is James Charles losing subs, not only is he losing very famous friends and Instagram followers, but he's also losing out on business deals. So at the very end of the day, this whole situation is gonna cost James Charles a lot of money. I mean, if he doesn't have his clothing, if he's showing up to meet and greets an hour and a half late, if he's losing all this ad revenue and views, it's not gonna be good. It's pretty much as bad as it can get at this point. I can't see it getting a whole lot worse, but I also can't see it getting a whole lot better anytime soon, that's for sure. As I said before, what he did 
Not very good. I mean, you can't go messing with people in a way that jeopardizes their mental health and their sexuality and their freedom and all that stuff. It's very predatory behavior and there's no place in the world for it at all. And then naturally a day or two later, some stuff happened that made me kind of really establish my stance on the whole thing because I was able to get a lot of facts and I was able to formulate my own opinion. So we had the waiter from Seattle come out and post a video telling his side of the story. And in a nutshell, he basically said, uh, me and James Charles, we kind of connected, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I reached out to him the next day after talking to my sister and we decided that was a good idea. And then I was the one that hit up James Charles. I was the one that wanted to go meet him. And then we did some stuff. It was relatively uneventful. And then we just took, went our separate ways and then that was that. So that is very different to the online belief that James Charles was the predator and he was the one that seeked out this waiter and just made him feel really uncomfortable and forced him to do stuff that he didn't want to do, which is not entirely true because the waiter in the video pretty much said that he was bi curious at the time and he had never been with the guy and he wanted to see what, what kind of fun he was missing, I guess. And again, that was very different to the belief that people had online because that part of information was not available at that time. So people kind of made their own conclusions and decided that this particular event that was mentioned in the Tati video was the main catalyst for James Charles being a predator. So I was able to watch this video and I decided to myself that, okay, well, this is one example where the belief online is not exactly accurate, okay? That's, that's one thing. Uh, yesterday, I came across a video on Twitter by this Twitter account, also runs a YouTube channel. I cannot remember the name for the life of me, so I'll make sure to credit them and leave the link down in the description below. But they posted a video on Twitter, basically exposing some of the DMs that had been leaked as fake. Oh. Everything's been cropped off. It's the same resolution. This isn't a crop, everything's moved. That's not what an iPhone does. Come over here, look at the pictures. Why is one picture bigger than the other picture? This is photoshopped. This is not real. Definitely sketch. Okay, so these screenshots, these are sketch. So these both the screenshots here from the DMs. Nothing seems suspect at first. It all seems pretty normal. Um, these artifacts just look like Twitter artifacts. Um, we can see the resolution here is the same on both the pictures. This is important. 675 by 1200. This is normal iPhone screenshot resolution. But if we come over here, we copy this, we pop this on top of the other layer. We can see, look at this status bar at the top. Why does that move? That should not move. Look. That's moving several pixels. Now the source of this fake DM was an account that has since been deleted and this account is called uh, Schoolgirl Lilac, something Lilac, I have no idea. But I was able to track down this Instagram account called Revealing Lilac and it's basically a an archive for the shit that Lilac has caused, uh, blah, 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 blah. So immediately this says that there is a professional troll at work and this account was basically responsible for creating the fake story in which uh, someone claimed they went to high school with James Charles and said he was a sexual predator. Uh, once this was exposed, this person basically said, oh, well, it was not exactly my story. It was a friend's story, but I just wanted to talk about it because uh, we have to cancel James Charles for some reason. And like after learning about that, it was just so confusing to me that people really really felt this passionate about wanting to cancel someone, they would go to the extent of creating fake DMs and fake messages to further condemn someone. But it's like, hey, we've got the facts out there already, all right? We know the story. Now we've got people trying to create their own story and try to create their own news, and now they are faking stories for their own benefit. It's just like, the damage is like already done. So why do we need people to come out of the woodworks with these fake stories and and just make the situation so much worse? I don't I don't understand. See, and that's one of the points that I mentioned at the beginning of the video is we as a society we're in a weird spot right now, uh, especially with social media being what it is and YouTube being the absolute juggernaut that it is right now, uh, we're seeing regular everyday people become megastars and international celebrities. Uh, so a lot of the time, and in some cases, you have people that started literally from nothing, 
which is what I am now, <laughs> to becoming these people with millions of subs, with sponsorship deals, endorsements, merchandise, fans, you know, everything. Pretty much everything that a regular celebrity does have. And so when we see this, instead of being people that are along for the ride and just constantly enjoy this person's success, you know, we might live vicariously through that. We might, you know, we want them to succeed. We want them to get everything that they want. And that in turn makes me happy. But now it seems like we're at a point where we don't really enjoy people getting success as much as we enjoy people losing that success and getting in trouble and being hashtag cancelled. Like, to me, it was absolutely crazy just the amount of people that were talking about this situation, that were making jokes about it, that were making memes about it, which, as I said, I was one of those people, but I didn't take it that far. I was not that invested in it. I was not like, yes, let's get him, let's get him, let's get him, let's get him. Sister, bye. Sister, sister, snip. Sister, you, blah, 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 blah. I was not one of those people. I was sitting back, enjoying the humour, but at some point, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, like, we, we kind of get it. But then there were just people that would just keep going and going and going and then you see people are creating fake stories and creating fake news i mean a few people online have said that give it six months shane dawson will come over to james charles house they'll do a six-part documentary series and then everything will be fine people have been cancelled before and people have come back from being cancelled before. Logan Paul did something really bad last year. He lost 80,000 subs and everyone thought that was it. He was done. He was being completely castrated by the media. YouTube community said, no more, we're done with you. Fast forward a year later, he's got one of the most successful podcasts in the world. His channel is going crazy. He just did that Flat Earth documentary a few months ago that was absolutely amazing. So that kind of proves that you're never truly cancelled. You're never truly someone that cannot come back from adversity. Again, it does depend what that adversity is. It does depend what controversy you have created. And being someone that is a sexual predator that has preyed on straight guys and pressured them into doing sexual things that maybe they don't want to do, allegedly, um, that's something that's completely different to going into a forest and doing something naughty. I really don't think that this is the end of the road for James Charles. Again, I'm not a supporter of him. I'm not one of these James... Charles apologists that says, well, everyone makes mistakes. All, all the facts that have come out are total lies. This is nothing. I'm with James Charles to the end. No, no, I'm not one of those people. All I'm saying is, okay, we get it. He's canceled. He's done the bad things. We've all made him the butt of the jokes. We've all laughed at him. I'm watching the sub count right now. Like it's entertaining, blah, blah, blah. But Let's just, let's just chill with the fake story, shall we? We don't need to start creating unnecessary drama just because you want to get clicks and you want to be part of something that is so much bigger than you, really. As a lot of YouTubers have covered this video, we've pretty much heard everything important that we need to hear. And I'm of the belief that if there's any further stories or DMs or anything like that that come out, I am one of those people that is inclined to believe that some of them are not 100% true. Yes, I'm sure 100% there's going to be people that say, yes, this is the case, here's the evidence, and then we'll be able to look at that and say, oh yeah, cool, that's true, I believe you. That's what I was mentioning before about sitting back and waiting to hear all the evidence. We had evidence against James Charles, and then we had evidence that was incriminating and not exactly true. So yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to make this video to just provide a small little recap. Again, all the facts are out there. I'm not really saying anything that anybody else hasn't said before, but I also wanted to address the fact that cancel culture, I guess you would call it, it seems to be going a little bit too far these days. It seems to be working in overdrive in this particular situation. And I'm just one of those people that says, ah, okay, let's just, let's just calm down a little. Let's let the situation unfold. Let us wait till all the facts are out there and we can all just make an informed decision based on that. I'm definitely not one of those people that has that knee jerk reaction where I say, that's it, get rid of him. We need to act, we need to act, we need to revolt. We need to cancel James Charles once and for all. I ain't that kind of guy and I'm not probably gonna be that guy anytime soon. Am I pro James Charles? No. Do I think what he did was wrong? Yes. Do I think he should be cancelled? Yeah, kind of. Do I think that people should go and fake DMs and make him out to be this incredible monster that he may not be? Uh, no, let's not do that. Anyway, that's all the time I've got for today. Uh, just a quick side note on my personal YouTube uh, channel. Um, I'm going to be back doing videos very regularly 
as of right now, uh, I've had a lot of free time freed up, thank goodness. So I'll be making more videos more frequently. I'll be going back to my regular humorous reaction videos and stuff like that. Uh, if there's anything that you guys want to see on the channel in the future, make sure you drop a comment down below. Drop your deets. I'll follow you back. I'll do all that shit. I'll like it. Make sure you like this video. Sub to the channel if you're new. And uh, sister, see you later. Um, leave James Charles alone, maybe. I mean, it, I think we get it. He's, he's done enough. Yeah. I mean, I think we, I think he gets it. We've done enough. Let's just, let's just leave it now. Let's move on. Let's cancel. I don't know. Cancel me. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye.